Hi, it's Paul from Kelsey Cooks again. So we're at our last stage now of putting our two-tier cake together. And I just want to make some decorations for the top. They're going to be very, very simple handmade roses. Anybody out there, I'll just say, that do make roses and do make flowers in general will probably hate me for this because I make them very simply. I don't use the cutters, I don't use the, the stamens, anything like that there. This will be just very, very simple stages. So we've got a bit of um, pink flower paste here. Now it's best if you're making any kind of flowers or anything to use actual flowers paste. It basically has a hardened agent in it and it means that um, you can roll it really thinly and it won't tear on you, it won't break on you and you can just make delicate flower petals then out of it. So we've got some pink here. Again, like all fondant, we'll just give it a kneading. So just with small amounts like this, it's best just to knead it in between your fingers like so. And for this, it's a very simple few steps. A little bit of corn flour in the hands. Okay, so what we're gonna do is pull off a small ball of the sugar flour paste and roll it into a ball. Then roll that again into like a sausage shape. And we're gonna pop that inside the bag. Now what you want to do now is flatten down one side of it lengthways. It doesn't have to be perfect. And the reason you use the bag is basically because if you were to try and do this outside of the bag or with a rolling pin, it would end up sticking and tearing on you. So we just peel it back out again. And then we roll the fat end of it. And you end up with your rosebud. So we'll just leave that there. Now, we're gonna start with the inner layer of petals. So there's gonna be three of them. I generally build it up three, three, and three. You can do three, five, and nine if you like, but I just, this is the way I do it, so. Small ball again, pop it into our bag, and just flatten it out with your finger. You can leave one end thinner just than the other. Peel that out again, and because it's coming out of the plastic bag, it's actually quite sticky of itself. You don't need to use any of the glue at this point. We twist it around for our first petal. And you'll see the progress coming now. So another ball. In the meantime, if you find this getting a little bit hard, just give it a kneading again, because as I say, it is the flower space, so it does tighten a little bit quicker than the normal fondant. We we'll flatten that out again. and just overlap the first petal that you put on. And we go for number three. Flatten it out. Peel it off. And stick it on. And there you can see the start of your rows forming. You can just pull out the the little petals, shape them as you like. Now you can set this onto a cocktail stick or just set it down on the counter. Either way is fine. So the next layer is just slightly bigger balls of fondant. Pop it into the bag. And I find two layers for a small rose, three layers for a large rose is just fine of this kind. A lot of people are into their, their flower making. Um, I do it very basically. But obviously you can spend hours making flowers. A little bit of a rhyme there. So just add on again. Three layer, two layers on, sorry. We'll just go for the third now. Hands are getting a little bit warm, so just a little bit of the corn flour on. And on to the last layer now, we'll just go slightly bigger again. The balls of fondant.
you can just pinch in the bottom, it'll fan it out for you. Two more to go. Again, like a proper rose, it doesn't have to be perfect because no rose is uniform, they're all different. All right, last petal will go on. Now at this stage you can use some blossom tints if you like and tint the edges of it. But for this purpose, we'll just keep it plain like so. We'll set that there. Now what I want to show you just very quickly is we'll make some leaves to go along with our, with our roses. So we have some green fondant here. Um, this isn't flowers paste, so you can use flowers paste if you want, but I just want to show you with normal fondant. This is Tylo powder. Um, it's basically the hardened agent that goes into the flower's paste. So it just comes in a little tub like this. So we're just going to put a light sprinkling into our fondant. And this will give it that tightened agent that'll harden and means that you can roll it thinner again than you would with the normal fondant. So we'll just knead that into it. It works in very easily to it. A little bit of corn flour down. I'm just going to roll this out nice and thin. But there, as you can see, if you're trying to make flower petals with this here, it obviously sticks to the to the rolling pin, which can cause you problems. It's not too bad for this purpose. Now is we have our leaf cutters here, rose leaf cutters. So I'll just use the two smaller of the three. You just get your cutter, firm down, and always give it a wee slide on the counter. Pop it out. If you didn't do the slide in the counter and you go to lift it, that's what would happen. So I'll just give it a wee Slide. Right, three that size, and we'll just do three of the smaller. Now you can get veiner mats as well now to go with these cutters. You just pop some of the impression onto the leaf, or you can do it by hand, which I will do now. This is a silicone tipped tool. Um, you can pick them up again in any craft shop, and we'll just make. make a little bit of markings on it. You don't want to, again, you don't want to be too particular. It's just to give the, the leaf impression on it. And these are very, very simple decorations that anyone can make with minimal fuss to make your cake very special for whatever occasion you have. Now, that's our leaves and our roses made. So what we're gonna do now Move these to one side. We bring in our cake. We have a pot here of edible glue, essential in sugar craft. Um, water will stick fondant as well, but for the fail safe, 
always go with the edible glue because it just means that you're guaranteed it's going to stick. So we'll just pop a leaf or two down first in the middle of the cake. And little goes a long way with, these, with this glue. We start off with two on top. And we get our rows. And if we just cut off the bottom of the rows, it gives us a nice flat surface then to glue to. through Blue Peter fashion, here's some I made earlier. Stick another leaf on. And our last smallest rows can go on the front of the, the cake down below. You just can take the bare look away. Two of the small leaves to go either side of it. Now, there we have a very simple and quick decorated cake for any kind of an occasion really. And um, it just means that you can put your cake together, you know how to do it now, and very simply done. Most of these things you can do at home without any kind of stress, and you have a brilliant result at the end of it, a centerpiece for any kind of table. Thank you.